Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Laser Fighter 101. Welcome back to an episode of Persona 3. This is episode 43. Now, in the last episode, we completed FES. It was pretty interesting. Uh, it was about a year ago now. But we are going to be continuing this series with Persona 3 Portable now. After we finish Persona 5, you know, all that sorted up. Anyway, I gave you guys a little bit of a teaser with the female protagonist. We are going to be going back and um, doing her story a little bit more often. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to be starting out with the guy personas, obviously, again. We're gonna play this stuff again. It's gonna be pretty cool. Anyway, you know, let's do it. Begin the story as the male main character. Yes, I would like to. Now, let's check a difficulty setting. I chose the easy before. So, let's do it. Now, please enjoy the game. I will. If you're interested in seeing, like, the, the start of it again, um, you should probably check out the other video, but, uh, yeah, we're going to be continuing. Time never waits. It delivers all equally the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you'll be given one year. Go forth without falter. With your heart as your guide. I will. Random text on the screen. You got it. Never got to worry about me, man. I got this stuff. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I completely forgot how this thing works again. It's been a few days since I played this last, because I've been working on Persona 5, obviously. Terminal Station, evening. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. Meanwhile, elsewhere. Yukari! I just put it to my head. Pulls a trigger. No yes. Chickening out. That's how you gotta summon your persona. You got this, Hikari. No, I can't. Hmm. Inside the new city passenger train, Anna has a malfunction in the switching system. Today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who are in a hurry. The next stop is Iwa Todai. Iwa Todai, I'm back, guys. This is the third time I've been back. <laughs> Iwa Todai. This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. Please take care to board before our departure. You arrived late. It's almost midnight. I did. Ooh, it's sort of midnight again. Here we go, the dark hour. Oh, so we get to see this again. Now it's green. Oh, man. Ah, oh, the dark huh? hour. Something about the atmosphere seems mm -hmm. odd. It would probably be best to hurry to the dorm. Yes. I was thinking that too. Oh, they're the coffins. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. Yeah, I really wonder what that's all about. There it is. Oh man, it's just so creepy. Every time I see it, man, it's an eerily gigantic moon. Woof. Here we go. Gekko Khan High School, Iwatodai Dorm. This is the dorm mentioned in your admission pamphlet. This place is creepy now. Ah. Welcome. Pharos! You're late. I've been waiting a long time. My dude, an unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out If to you. you want to proceed, then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Something is written on the paper he's holding out to you. I, if I choose at this fate of my own free will, below it is a blank to sign your name. Oh, yes. So, instead of putting my last name first, let me do this. I think a lot of people had a hard uh, mess that up because they don't read. So they did first as the first thing you learn. Why <laughs> they put your last name first? There you go. 
Very well. Time I'm going to be for my uh, no one second can channel escape. here. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away. That's my real name, guys. If you want to see Counterpouts, the second channel, obviously. Link in bio. There's nothing interesting on that channel ever. But I probably am going to put some of my uh, grinding sessions over there. So if you want to check them out, let them know. Uh, go check it out. And so it begins. And so it begins. Ugh. The unknown boy disappeared as if melting into the darkness. Who's uh, there? How can you be? But it's... Don't tell me. I got the pers I got the fucking potential. The girl is holding something that looks like a Wait. gun. <gasps> Mitsuru! Don't let her fucking shoot me, bro. The light. I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Nice to meet you. I've never fucking seen you before in my life, dude. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi. I'm Yukari. Nice to meet you. Why'd you have a gun? Is this the girls' dorm? Nice to uh, meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. It's getting late, so you should get some rest. Your room's on the second floor at the end of the hallway. Your things should already be there. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Show me the way. Only the strong. Is that how you say that song? I, mean, I haven't listened to that since fucking. Halo two days and I just saw it appear on my on my recommended the other day. So I was like, hell yeah, that's nostalgic. Did I say Halo two? Yeah, Halo two. Obviously I played Halo two, even though it was kinda dated by the time I was able to play it. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. Yeah. So, any questions? Uh what was that contract for? Does that kid live here too? What are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. What do you mean what I'm talking about? Yukari doesn't seem to know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that Pharaoh's kid that only I could see. Um, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Uh, yeah. I see. Never mind then. Well, I better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. There was some coffins on the on and everyone everyone looked like they were dead. You could already walked down the stairs. This is your assigned room. Use the movement buttons to move the cursor. Hold down the cancel button to make the cursor move faster. Also press the guide button to display all the icons that could be accessed. Press the guide button again to hide the icons. Uh, okay. Cool. Aha! Alright, cool. That's the midnight. It's for and that's the full moon. The mirror reflects your regular face. You were tired today. You should get to bed early. Ah, oh, yes. How? How? Oh, there you go. <laughs> I was like, I've done this before, alright? I know how to do this. It's Yukari! Are you awake? Hold on, I'm jamming out. Fine. Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Sunpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Uh, I can find it myself. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, then let's go. Inside the New City Passenger Train, Anihazuru. We have to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. I actually have to take a helicopter to my school. It's pretty rough. But unfortunately, my helicopter's in the shop. You know, what a, what a bad timing, really. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. There was the explosion. The ex fucking courageous. Morning. Group. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukan High. You're gonna love it here. Okay, dear. I'm You're prizes. okay from here, right? You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Uh, no, not really. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Yeah. See you right. later. 
I won't, I promise. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. Press the sub menu button to select an area to go there immediately. Please use this. There's a uh, Yuko. I, I forgot what the fuck her name was in the last episode when I played it in. But yeah, I, I don't think I ever finished her social link. I think she got mad at me for some reason. <laughs> Alright. Class rosters are posted. You can't find your name. Look for it again. There's a small note with your name on it. Connor Pouts, Class F. You look closer and you notice that her name, Yakari Takaba, is also on the list. Seems like you'd be in the same class as her. Yes, this is my uh, playthrough, guys. That's my life. Uh, uh, Mr. Ricardo, whatever your name is. This is the faculty office. A man wearing a kabuto looks like a teacher's walking into talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have a passionate samurai spirit within him. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai in order to accomplish great things. That's fantastic. The teachings of Bushido are important than as they are now. Yes, yes, yes. You may not be a native of this land, but the spirit of the samurai flows through you just the same. They seem to be having fun. Oh, yes. What's this? Exam results are posted here. Oh, okay. Fucking rainy. Oh, it's Chihiro. Oh, uh, library. That's strange. I saw the map, but where am I? Uh, oh, this is the library. Right here. This is fat. Wait, 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 what? Faculty office is huge, bro. What the fuck was that? All right, let's do it. Oh, are you the new student? I am. Eleventh grade, correct? Yes. Teacher slipping through the pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was what, 10 years ago? Your parents. <gasps> oh! I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Nice to meet you. Wow, such enthusiasm. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Okay, Maya. <laughs> you guys don't understand that reference yet. You should watch the original episodes. Follow me. As you begin the new school year. Oh yeah, I accidentally cut past this stuff last time because I was still learning how the fuck the game worked. So I am going to listen to what he's saying. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... The principal continues with this speech. Psst. Hey. The student behind you is trying to get your attention. You came to school with Yukari this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. Hey, I have a question. Do you know if she has a boyfriend? She does. She doesn't. I don't know. She does, obviously. Man, I knew it. It's me. I mean, why wouldn't she? Wait, how well do you know her? I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh, be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. <laughs> you hear lots of people talking. Yeah, okay, they can talk, but I fucking can't. Well, what if... Homeroom is over. Your first after-school session is about to begin. What's up, dude? How's it going? What's up, dude? What do you want? Who are you? Me? Junpei. I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. I knew who you were already. I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. So I wanted to say, hey, <laughs> see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, it's you, Katan. I didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> At it again, huh? I swear you'll talk to anyone if they'll listen. Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. <laughs> if you say so. Anyway, some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? It's just a coincidence. It must be fate. Fate? Yeah, right. <laughs> Still, I'm a little surprised. Um, hello? Are you forgetting that I'm in this class too? Oh, shut up, June. Pay nobody gives a shit. By the way, I heard you two came to school together this morning. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. <laughs> what are you talking about? We live in the same dorm. There's nothing going on, okay? Why are people even talking about it? Now you have me worried. Yeah, hey, just... you didn't say anything to anyone about, you know what, did you? Uh, you know what? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. 
Uh -huh. Okay, seriously, don't uh -uh. say anything about last night, all right? I'll fucking say whatever the fuck I want. But... What? L last night. <laughs> Oh, dude, y'all, I know it's not what the fuck she meant, June Faye. Wait a minute, don't get the wrong idea. Listen, I just met him yesterday, and there's absolutely nothing between us. Jeez, I've got to go. I've got something to take care of for the archery team. But you better not start any rumors. You're right, you fuckers. Ah, uh, who cares? No one takes rumors seriously anyway. She's so paranoid. But hey, it's your first day here and people are already talking about you. Believe it or not, she's actually pretty popular. <laughs> you the man. Mm. <laughs> this is going to be a fun year. I can feel it. Sounds good to me. You decided to go home with Junpei. Well, check out the jocks on the run. Say, uh, you thinking about joining a club? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei as you went home. Alright, uh, there's a sign sheet on the counter. You can save your game. Welcome back. My name is Zaru. How's it going? Oh, yeah, I will save my game. I got a new spot here. Stay lucky you. I kept the other one right here. Just in case, you know, I wanted to return back to it. But oh. I will do this from now. Okay. Hello, Mr. Ru. You really shouldn't go outside on your own and nice too dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should get a good nice rest. Okay. Turn on the television. Isn't that a trend that just might spread all over town? Our next story is about the cherry blossoms. It's springtime and they're all over town now. The blossoms this year are a little late compared to the other years, but they'll be at their peak this week. Hey, not bad, bro. Oh, hi, what are you doing? Uh, I was looking around. Nah, there's not much to see. You'd probably be tired. I right? maybe should go to bed a little bit early. Alright, let's go in, I guess. You know, I always say. Bathroom's very popular in these games, dude. Feel refreshed. Your condition has become great. Yes, great. I see. There was a way I could. Oh, there he is, right there. Yeah. I wish I could get this giant fucking thing out of the way. I mean, I got. I need to take thumbnails, bro. I don't know. There's no way to take. So you can take. You can get rid of that shit. And you can kind of like, oh god, it's like, now we're in like the back rooms over here. And then you do that, and you can go uh, over here. Okay, so I know it is. Uh, what's this do? Akihiko. There's someone inside. Is that Mitsuru? I'm busy now. Sorry, we can you come back later? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Later at the dormitory lounge, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. Don't worry about it, man. Aki, I we never worry about what you do. This isn't a game, Akihiko. Okay. You overhear conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, um, something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean, a story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day. If her mother tries to talk to her, she only mutters to herself, It's coming, it's coming. Huh. How about that? You don't believe me? Your first bell is wrong. I believe you. I know about the Nyx character. I'll be in your textbook so we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasai. Oh, why him? I'd rather teach Tsubo Kubota. He became a famous as a singer, but he's also uh, produced a fine literature. I wonder why it's not in a textbook. Oh, well, I'll just bring Kubota's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, this guy. That's right, so you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you just know I like to pay attention. May you save my bacon, Connor? You your classmates whispering. Connor gave him the answer. He must pay attention to class. Dang, a card shit. Alright, cool. Got my charm, bro. That's the end for today. There's nothing you do, so I to go back to the dorm. I don't want to do stuff. I want to look around, bro. 
the dormitory lounge. Yukari is already here talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, he's back. So, this is our new guest. Fuck you, Chairman. Fuck you. Good evening. He's a he fucking check on us. I don't like he don't trust this motherfucker. He's bad. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Uh, why are you here? To welcome you, of course. Speaking of which, where's Mitsuru, Yukari? She's upstairs. As diligent as always. Although it doesn't hurt to come down and say hello. Do you have <laughs> another question? There were only four students in this dorm. You, Yukari here, Mitsuru, and a senior named Akihiko Sanada. I hope you all get along. Do you have another question? Then, I hope you have a successful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me, hey, you I'm must be good. tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad pun. Ha 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 ha. You'll get used to his lame jokes. You lame dude. You decided to return to your dorm and sleep. Room and sleep. I'm stupid. Man, what the hell's up with my hair there, man? What the fuck? It's in me. Later, it's a certain room in the dormitory. Working hard? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Meanwhile, in the back alley of Tatsumi, Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. Freaking KJ, man. I swear to you. How much is that company worth? This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. I mean, do we, do we never hear mention of another the other Persona games? It's got to be a pretty popular company, though. I mean, damn. Huh? What the? What's happening to me? Stray guy. <laughs> Mental shutdown. <laughs> Well, he's gone. Disappear agency, whatever the fuck it is. Back at the certain room in the dormitory. Hmm. He's still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. You too, bitch. You've retained your human form. He's asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Although, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Master. Master Connor Pouts. What's up? Oh, is he you, you again? Oh, fucking, uh, Igor, dude. The real fucking Igor. Hey, it's Elizabeth. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Why wasn't Elizabeth available last time? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you signed at the dorm was lying before you go. Henceforth. You shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. 
The Velvet Room, really? Oh man, that's all I ever wanted. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. I understand, Hold on sir. to this. This is what the real Igor sounds like. Till we meet again. Missed that fat nose motherfucker. You felt like you had a strange dream. It's time to get to school. Yo, man, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, it's best to sleep during class. You never notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? I know what you mean. Right? You go from dead to being completely full of energy again. It's such a great feeling. Then again, I'm not listening to lecture, so I'm screwed later. Oh, well, I have the classic literature today. That means we're stuck with nasty old Dakota. Yeah, it's a nasty old Dakota. Uh, hey, I'm uh, Mr. Okoto. I'll be teaching you classic lit. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. The students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit. You feel tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. No. Hey, are you all listening to me? Wake up, children. Open your textbooks. First on our syllabus is Ise Monogatari, the origin of Japanese literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngsters may call it the bomb. <laughs> I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened to the lecture. The academics has increased. That's all I ever wanted right there. You decided to go home with Junpei. Polonium Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we usually end up here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade, and oh, oh, this is where you come to rent out CDs, too. Then there's that club over there. <laughs> but of course, uh, I've never seen the inside. Stations bustling with students on their way home. It was actually Yukari that showed us around with the Welcome back. FMC route, so it's interesting. Interesting is Junpei. It's kind of like our friend here. The moon is beautiful tonight. It might be nice to read a book by moonlight once in a while. And you must, yes. There used to be a dorm mother here to use stuff like cooking, and now there's just students here now. It'd be great to have someone that you like doing that stuff for us, dude. You're right. I mean, he's not a good cook, and uh, Tsuru Senpai just doesn't do things like that. It's like a treasure vault full of money we can't spend. Yeah, right? He turned on the television. Hey, it's Trish. Here's today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is a very dependable looking 20 year old woman. Her sister's a camera woman. I've heard she got her camera from her master. Next is news. Pain, pain, go away. Yes, do that song. Do that song. Pain, pain, go away. Come back in some other day. Let's rain, rain, go away, actually. You feel refreshed. Your condition has become great. Thought it was great before. Literally went to sleep early and everything is not great yet. It's a rope. These networked computers were installed when the dorm was built. Their main purpose is to send the school reports about daily life here in the dorm. These ones? Oh, these ones right here. Networked computers. Call setting for internet. Uh, oh god, this silo mist, dude. Fucking silo mist, bro. I need to. We need to, like, get a bunch of these, bro. You know how many times I actually fucking spam this button, dude? Because we need, like, 20 of them. This way, I uh, mean, he's gonna uh, come over. I'll get five for now. Worry about this shit later. No, I don't. No, fine. Fine, game. You want you want me to buy it so bad? Here you go. Alright, let's go to bed. You go back to your room now? I will. You tell you, should some rest. Yes, I know. It's the, 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 the full moon, so something bad's gonna happen today. I wonder what that may be. <laughs> I know exactly what it's going to be, guys. It's just... a certain room in the dormitory. How is he? The same as last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm, yes. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation, 
But this subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. Because I ain't no common bitch. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. I heard he's your classmate. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? Yeah, I guess. But still. An emergency call from outside rank. Command the room. room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? You got damn right he is. Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. Right. Be careful. Yeah, we sure will, Chairman. I promise. Fucking <sighs> bitch. Probably wants us all dead. He doesn't want us all dead because then we're going to kill all the shadows and feed into his little plan. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. It's one of them, Akihiko? Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takiba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! I I'm going! Your room. You are woken by a loud noise. You said to go take a look. Yes, go take a look. Wake up! I'm coming! Sorry, I'm in. Bro, what the fuck if I'm getting changed, dude? I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Okay. Hurry, downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. Yukari handed you a short okay, sword. let's go. Okay, money in. Dormitory, first sword, the rear All entrance. right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Whoa. Uh, let's pull back. Scared me, goddamn. Second floor. What was that? Get the fuck it's out of closer. there, dude. What are you guys doing? Keep moving, hurry! What do you think I'm trying to do here? The only one is fucking leaving. Yeah, the door turned the rooftop. Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? Uh oh. Oh, yeah, I see him. That was the thumbnail for the last episode. Whoa! He got a fucking sword. You gotta bro. be kidding me! He climbed up the wall? That will shit it, dude. There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh yeah, I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Here it goes. Come on, you got this. <sighs> well, yeah, it's fucked up. Do it! No balls, bitch. Bitch boy, come on. Yeah, yeah Orpheus, motherfucker. Thou art I, and I am thou. Yeah! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> what on earth was that? <gasps> the sudden spell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. You've attained a new persona. Yeah. 
Orpheus. Is it over? <laughs> it's over. <gasps> it's still moving. A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No, get away from me. You have to save her. Yeah, I fucking ran out. Got him. Too easy. Too easy. You felt the church energy inside after the recent death. Slacker, I'm uh, slacker, charm, uh, uh, plain, and courage, timid. You know. Yeah, oh, Aggie, I'm yeah, tough. Seal card level three. Aggie, okay. The monsters disappeared. It seems Yukari is safe too. You feel exhausted. You're losing consciousness. Oh no, now I'm in the hospital again. Are you okay? Oh, come on, please. Can you hear me? Answer me! Dead already. I ain't even started and I'm already dead. This is the Velvet Room, was it? It's so nice to see you again. Hey, Igor. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Persona? My sight? Persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. A mask? When you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please remember that. I won't keep it out of my then, mind, Igor, I promise. Time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. So those are the different doors that have yet to be opened yet. Is that kind of like what... Your head is getting clearer. You can see a white ceiling. You wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence beside you. You're awake. Um, how do you feel? Uh, how are you here? Thank goodness you finally came too. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. But your power, it was amazing. What were those mean, things? They're I know what, what they we're were. fighting against. And the power you used, we call it Persona. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. Uh, what do you My see? dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. Fucking Kirijos, man. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. That's why Tartarus says this. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. I was scared too. Really? But still. Don't worry about it, you car. I'm fucking to shoot myself in a motherfucking face to goddamn some of my persona. I'd be scared too. Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So, thanks for listening. 
I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right. I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Got a pretty good hospital room. Bye. Got a shell and a spare at no expense there. Yo, long time no see. What's up? Do you have an upstairs stomach or something? Yeah, it landed me in the hospital for several days. Anyway, I got something to tell you. Uh, you're full of energy. Dad, I'm just fine. Forget old Junpei. This is the real me. You should just cheer up too. After all, you got me for a friend. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. I can hear y'all from way over there. I know you two came separately today, even though you guys are in the same dorm. Uh, we're tired of hearing you talk about that. Connor, couldn't you feel better? Sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning, but Akutsuki-san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor of the dorm after school, okay? Don't forget. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. That's enough about mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. I'm tired of lessons about stones. I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not as exciting until then. Though I'm paid to do this, so I've got it. It's tough being an adult. Next is the Jomen period. Where does samurai get their day in the sun? I'll just ask a question of Brandon and call it a day. And hey, Junpei, what's the style of houses in the Jomen period called? Uh, how am I supposed to know about something way back then? Quick, Connor, what the heck's he talking about? Mud huts, bro. That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I can't get interested. Oh, I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. Hey, I answered right and I don't get any credit? Oh, well. Thanks, Connor. You hear the classmates whispering. Connor told you to pay the answer. He's really smart. He became slightly more popular. Hey. Class center for today. There seems to be something important going on in the dorm. You decided to go back early. Gifts. There's no one at the lounge. You are told to go to the fourth floor. You can now create save data from the Shut the fuck up. Ooh, it's 420. Made off. A room on the fourth floor. You, Kari, Mitsuru, and the chairman are unfamiliar fail student uh male student are sitting here. Ah, there you are. I'm glad that you're okay. Hey, Kutsuki. The reason I asked you here is because I needed to talk to you. Well, why else would you ask me here? Please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned him earlier, but this is Akihiko. How you doing? Hey, man, what's up? Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me if I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours? Yes, I would, you bitch. Fucking hate you. No. <laughs> I'm not surprised by your reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you came here? You had to have noticed the signs. The street lights went out. Nothing was working. There were coffins everywhere. Didn't it feel like you were in a different time? That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Uh, I don't get it. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a story? But the dark hour occurs each night, right at midnight. It'll happen tonight, and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. <laughs> but that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone not in a coffin. It's our job to defeat them. Sounds exciting, huh? Mmm, damn right it does. Akihiko, why are you always like that? Ah, he's fine, but sure don't let me in. You just got hurt the other day. Now, now. He does his work well. Long story short, we're the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Mitsuru is the leader. I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Uh, how do you fight them? Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight the shadows. That's Persona, the power you used the other night. The shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. 
which means it's all up to you guys. I see. I'm glad you're quick to understand. Mr. opens the case on the table. A silver gun gleams uncannily from inside. What he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. All right. <sighs> I was afraid you'd say no. Welcome aboard. If I say no, the game just ends. Thank you so much. I'm really glad. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay here, in your current room? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. A holdup? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. Is his doing from the start. A voice rings in your head. Hey, but personas. Social link. This is just like the way it works in Persona 4 2. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up. You feel your inner strength growing. You recall what Igor said about the power of social links. The intensity of social links strengthens the power of the personas. Social links are those bonds you form with people you meet. You're still tired from your hospital stay, you decide to return to your room. At the dark hour again, too. Oh, man. As you were dozing off, you felt someone's presence. Hi, how are you? Hi, you too, Pharos. How'd you get in here? I'm always with you. <laughs> Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. I don't care. <laughs> really? If you say so, to be honest, I can't tell you much about it yet. Oh, looks like you've awakened to your power. And an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It may prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'll be watching you. Even if you forget about me. Okay then. See you later. The boy disappeared. I think I should choose all the stupid answers. In this playthrough. The last playthrough was the serious one. Morning, um, thanks about yesterday. Akiko Senpai is injured too and I was really uneasy about working alone with Mitsuru Senpai. Uh, injury? Yeah, Akiko Senpai was attacked by shit on the day that you collapsed too. He said he injured his ribs a little. Motherfucker. And our internet got wiped out too. Man, we had that struck a bad luck, bro. Yukari began talking even close. I thought I was gonna fall asleep gonna... in there. Oh, it's voice acted, okay. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. I'll save the details for later. See you there. See you, Mitsuru. Bye bye. Mitsuru left. She was certainly direct. She's probably busy with things like student council. Unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? I was talking about that in the last episode. Yukari versus Mitsuru, man. It's interesting. It seems that Junpei was listening too. Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Fast ended for today. There seems to be something important going on at the dorm. You decided to go back early. I love this. I love the music, man. It's really bringing me back into the uh, the whole experience. Mr. Renakiko already here. Welcome back. We were waiting for you. There's someone I want to introduce. Huh? Hey, hurry up. Hold your horses. This is freaking heavy. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna help <laughs> What's me. What's up? Junpei? Why are you here? This is Junpei Iori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here as of today. He's staying here? You've got to be kidding me! I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help. You have the potential? <laughs> For real? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store, surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. He said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Did you guys know that? 
Didn't happen to me. Big deal. It happens to everyone else. But man, I was shocked to find out about you guys. I had no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. It could get kind of lonely, you know? I'll bet you're stoked too, right? Having me join? Huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Junpei has joined well, C's. Enough with the introductions. I think we're about ready. Introductions. Kidding me. Okay. I already knew that something. Everybody's here. I don't know why the music just stops abruptly. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Tartarus? Yeah. What's that? Sounds like toothpaste. <laughs> you haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa. Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. Bullshit. I've seen it firsthand. Get an ice cold front gate. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. It's almost midnight. Yes, it's gonna be in it. Damn labyrinth, bro. Hey. Fucking hell, that's always awesome every time it happens. Dude. We've been to the top there, that's where we fought Nyx. This is Tartarus. The labyrinth reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <laughs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Yes, you do, Mitsuru. Don't fucking lie. I know you know. Well, maybe now we'll find out. You too, Aki. You kidding me? You, I know you fucking know you too. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Fucking Kurijo group psychotic exploding shit. Hey, Mitsuru fucking knows what the hell's going on, man. You tell me this shit. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the dark hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know. You don't have to remind me. So this is Tartarus. He said to enter the tower. Whoa. It's just as cool on the inside. Yeah. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. I will be the leader. It's cold in here. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 me pick me. Uh, you're in charge. Hey. Wait, 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 why him? He doesn't look like a leader. Yeah, I do. But he has fought them before. Seriously? I have, like, hundreds of hours of experience, bro. You need... That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready? No, you're not letting him inside. I'm ready. <laughs> that 
That's the spirit. I'm ready. You're not fucking ready. You just did a bitch ass right here, man. God damn. You ain't telling me what the fuck I need. Mean. Strange door is sitting in the corner well, of the What's lot. the matter? The velvet key in your hand is shiny. Keep it in the door's keyhole as if it were being sucked in. <laughs> fucking Igor is down there. Oh, wants us again, dude. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. Yes. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. The nature of my power? About that door, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> the nature of my power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty. But at the same time, holds infinite possibilities. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp. But do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role. The manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Farewell, Igor. I will see you later, my guy. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. I opened his door and nothing. Don't tell me you just dozed off. You're like that coach who fell asleep during the championship game. Come on, man. You're supposed to be our leader. They don't seem to see the door. <laughs> Cut him some slack. If nothing's wrong, then let's get going. He's just jealous that Aki didn't choose him. You can check your own status by pressing the command menu button. Also, you can save your progress by accessing the click to the left of the entrance. Wait, so you check battle tips. Save. I don't need no damn battle tips. You know who I am. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? I am. Good luck. Go for the following block. Inside Tartarus. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa. Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Fucking Fuka, now, man. Based Fuka. on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Yes, I agree. This is stupid here. Yeah, let's see the fucking angle of this camera. It's so messed up. There we go. Right. Got it. I have to be like sludged <sighs> over. Like that. She's fine. Right, uh, let's begin. Keep in mind these are real battles you'll be engaging in. Now, if you can see if we can eliminate all the shadows wandering around on this floor. Okay. Snuff so. Shut the fuck up. I know I know what to do, game, okay? Give me a break. Takiba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? No thanks. Okay. Then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. <laughs> You exploited the enemy's Here's a weakness. Chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- There should be a staircase nearby. Do you see it? The staircase is the only way to proceed to the next floor. I can't allow you to go any higher today, but please remember about it next time. Okay. There's another shadow ahead of you. You'll be at a disadvantage if the enemy gets to hit first hit in, so try and surprise your opponents and strike first. Okay, I know what to do, game. Okay. 
Now's a good time. Do you want to know? The enemies are. The enemy is vulnerable. Keep One more. going. Persona. Attack again. Here's our chance for an all out attack. Let me at him. You keep pressing Y for sort of five to Alright, cool. 12. EXP. Wow, what an amazing thing to be in there. Okay. There seems to be a shadow just around the corner. Approach carefully to avoid being spotted. The map will prove quite useful as you explore to ease it up. Yeah, how do I how do I extend it? Oh like that. Yeah, okay. There's a way extend. Ooh. Look the other way, loser. <laughs> Were you able to? If you did, would you like? No. Then proceed. Go away. You know how how many vulnerable. shadows Keep I've going. defeated me. You struck the enemy's weak point. Attack again. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a. Shuffle time! Hey, mysterious cards have appeared in your mind. Oh yeah, these things. So wait, the one that appears right in front of me? Yeah, okay. There we go. So now we're at four. Not bad. You guys are so Got Patra. Oh, she got three. Okay, never mind. I thought it was four too. Snuff soul, not bad. Good one. I detect the shadow up ahead. How are you feeling? Even another party member is the best. Have you use healing on his pride to the enemy? If you have any of the enemy, we'll go that. We haven't even, like, used our. There is a better way to defeat. You can perform. Then, shadows be. There may be this. Let's see, Ruth. I could again. do this without you. Nice. I don't need your support. You struck the enemy's get up point. No, that's not, that's not what I meant to do. Yes, excellent attack. Take that! Yuri has defeated an enemy. Two to go. This thing won't give up. Take the enemy down. Eight. Last one. Why couldn't you have just made the Defeated. controls the same, man? You had to change it for Persona 5, and now, 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 now that's the only thing that's in my head, dude. Okay, uh... Okay, we didn't want to do the two. Aspirus, okay. Gikoski. Okay. That's odd. Usually there are more shadows in the prow. Well, at least you gain some experience for battle. Let's go back to the dorm today. There should be an access point somewhere on that floor. You can easily return the entrance. Since there aren't any enemies to worry about, why don't you split up a search individually? Okay. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. What's the money? Uh, let's turn the Let's do it. Good luck. Ooh, I got my stuff souls again. Seems you return to the entrance. Welcome back. So, how was it? No problem. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power, but damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. <coughs> At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. 
In any event, by combining your powers with your teams, you're able to stand against the shadows. You feel a bond forming between yourselves. You felt the power in your heart intensify as a reaction to the bond between your friends. That's the that's the stuff that we stole from Persona 4, looks like. Because it definitely wasn't like that before. Just like Hikari and Jupei, you feel tired as well. You decided it would be best to return to your room and rest. That's better, though, because then you have to watch it do the thing every time you want to fucking level the shit up. Alright, guys, well, that's going to have to be it for today. My name is Lazy Fighter 111. If you guys want to see more episode of 3, be sure to leave a like. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to see for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys later.